Hey everyone, Wogdog here, and today we're going to discuss heroes to not max train and not max star. You may think that max training, max stars is good all the time, right? No, that's not true. For the heroes that we're about to discuss here, we'll show you why that's not true. So the first hero I want to discuss is Psychic Sword. She has a swap ability, she has a stun, she has an ability which reduces enemies armor, and she has an attack damage boosting aura, but most importantly she has an ability which gives allies increased attack power and magic power when she dies. Unfortunately at this time she is not an effective hero in War of the Gods, however you never know, Yukul could release a skin for her which makes her die faster and then all of a sudden her on death ability becomes super relevant. But with that said, we're moving on to the next one. And the next hero I want to discuss is Lightning Elemental. So he has seen an uptick in usage because of the hero Ninetail Fox. Ninetail Fox, typically what she does is she'll jump to your back line sometime in the fight and then cast her ultimate which charms everyone she hits and then does a lot of magic damage to them. Lightning Elemental will slow this down, assuming he dies fast enough. So if yours is max trained and max starred, guess what? He's not going to die, and he's not going to do anything against that Ninetail Fox, which is a very important hero to know about and have to deal with in War of the Gods. So other than that, that's pretty much all he's good for. Let's move on to our next hero. The next hero I want to discuss is my favorite, Rose Fencer. So the thing is, I have him on my main account, I have him max starred and max trained, and unfortunately, he just doesn't really have any uses. Like, he was really good in the previous level cap, which was level 105, but coming to level 110, he's just not as useful anymore. But, if yours is only one starred with no training, then you can use him, like in the picture, that's right here, you can use him against Master Mage and stall their teams out to give your team more time to do what they have to do. So, definitely recommend not training and not starring your Rose Fencer. Otherwise, he'll just be another useless hero in your collection. So, that's the end for Rose Fencer. Let's go on to the next one, and that is Ice Spirit. Now, he has an on death ability, which allows him to silence whoever dealt magic damage to him before he died. So, he's another useful answer to Master Mage teams because Master Mage teams are about setting off their ultimates fast due to Master Mage dying and then destroying your team because they have all the energy to do what they have to do. So Ice Spirit will buy your team some time and as far as I can see it's always good to have more options against Master Mage. That's been a team that's been around ever since the inception of War of the Gods and I'll tell you what it's not going away anytime soon. So, the last hero I wanted to discuss is Master Mage. I mean, pretty much, long story short, like I just said, she will give the whole, al the whole team energy when she dies. When she has more stars and more training, it takes longer for her to die. You don't want that if you are the one using Master Mage. So, it's definitely in your best interest to not max train and not max star Master Mage. So... Pretty much the main point of all this is that all the heroes that I listed, except for Rose Fencer, have an ability that happens when they die. So, that is exactly the reason why it's in your best interest to not max train and not max star these heroes. So everyone, thanks for watching, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.